Hello and welcome to another episode of Life and Truth Podcast. My name is Jonathan Obisi and I'm excited to have you tune in today. Um, if this is the first time you're coming to the podcast, I encourage you to go to all of my social media platforms, Jonathan Obisi, and also my website, jonathanobisi.com, where you'll be able to listen to all the previous episodes and I so believe it's going to be a blessing to your heart. So, to the topic of today, I'm going to be speaking on love versus lost. Love versus lost. Um, love is not a new word i want to believe to you um it's it's something you've heard you, you know you hear all the time whether it's in the family to your parents your siblings your loved ones your relatives i love you i love you i cherish you and all of that it's something you hear all the time there are different types of love which we're not really going to be looking into we're not really going to be looking at particularly so we have of course eros you know um romantic love sexual love we have um filial love you know um familiar love the love you have with your know, more friends and all of that agape kind of love the god kind of love god's love towards mankind we also have um stoge that's um stoge or storage as some people pronounce it you know um that sort of familiar love and all of that sorry filial love is you know the kind of brotherly love you have among believers and things like that we'll not really be looking into that but i just want to paint the picture of love versus loss taking cue from a particular story that i'll be reading from you uh, i'll be reading for you from the bible and this story is the story you know of um, the children of King David, Amnon and Tamar, and I'll be reading from 2 Samuel chapter 13. Let me read from verse 1. It says, And it came to pass after this that Absalom the son of David had a first sister whose name was Tamar, and Amnon the son of David loved her. Mark the word, loved her. In quote, verse 2. And Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar, for she was a virgin, and Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. Now look at, he claimed he loved her. Now, verse 2, he fell sick because of the love that he had for her. Now, let's skip quickly and let's go to verse 14. He says there, How be it he would not hearken unto her voice, but being stronger than she, forced her and lay with her. Verse 15. He says, Then Amnon hated her exceedingly. Look at that. He says, So that the hatred wherewith he hated her was far greater than the love wherewith he had loved her. And Amnon said unto her, Arise and be gone. Look at that. Now you look at the story from chapter 1, from verse 1 rather. He claimed he loved her. By verse 15 or verse 14, he forced her and laid with, laid with her and raped her. Verse 15, the Bible says here, and he hated her exceedingly the word that was used to describe the hate was not even used to describe the love if i should ask you based on just this this short story i just shared what i'm not had towards tema was it love or loss i bet you would say that was definitely lost and this is the reason why i want to look at the portrait of love and loss the portrait of love versus loss now number one love protects Lost, lost on the other hand hurts we see here what happened here was everything that Amnon concocted and planned and executed was to hurt Tamar love on the other hand will protect but lost on the other hand will seek to hurt we also see here that love is sincere but loss is deceptive he was deceptive he claimed he loved her because of that he fell he, he he claimed he was sick and then he used that you know to deceive the king to request that Tamar come over to take care of him and all of that and all of that was done through deception through the deception of course that you know was concocted between him and his friends Jonadab and all of that and he planned all of that just to hurt Tamar. Lost is deceptive. We also see here that love is, we also see here rather that love is deep but loss is superficial and shallow. Why love is deep, loss is superficial and shallow. There's always a temporary end game in mind and immediately that is gotten, that is all. So we see here that immediately he succeeded in forcing her and raping her and laying with her. The Bible says he hated her exceedingly because it wasn't love. While love is deep, loss is temporal and shallow. We also see here that love breeds peace. Loss breeds chaos. Because of his action here, chaos everywhere. Chaos, you know, around the family. Chaos for the parents. Chaos in the entire, you know, entire atmosphere simply because of loss. Loss breeds chaos. We also see here that love gives, but loss takes. That was it. He, instead of, you know, love, 
genuine love will give but loss will seek to take it will seek to exploit it will seek to steal love on the other hand will seek to sacrifice loss on the other hand will seek to steal from the object of love love will seek love will seek to sacrifice for the object of love lost will seek to steal from the object of lost this is the difference between love and loss we also see here that love is truthful but loss is hypocritical loss is hypocritical every action is hypocrisy we see ultimately of course that lost seeks to hurt and destroy and cause pain while love on the other hand seeks to build to sacrifice and to protect the object of love we also learn here that love is divine but loss is demonic look at what he did every plan every you know thing, every plan every step was you know orchestrated demonically if there's any word like that was orchestrated to hurt Tamar. the advice he got his friend the ideas were all demonic ideas love is divine but loss is demonic it's of the devil we also learn of course that of course love is of god and lost is of the devil my prayer for you is that you will not fall a victim of loss i also have here that love is far-sighted and sees the big picture but loss is short-sighted and sees immediate gratification this was the situation of amnon he was seeking immediate gratification what he claimed as love was not love but it was lost i pray that we will not be victim you and i will not be victim of anyone who seeks to hurt seeks to steal seeks to exploit you know um from us then i also have here just before um, we move on that love ultimately we see here is also patient while loss on the other hand is hasty loss is hasty everything must be done now everything is in the rush you know because there is it is lost it is seeking to satisfy the desire of the flesh so it is hasty while love on the other hand is patient love is kind love is gentle and love of course is of God I want to believe this has blessed your heart and I want you to know that the fullness of the expression of love can only be expressed when you yourself when I myself have come into contact with the one who has shown what true love is the true sacrifice of love and that is that Jesus died on the cross laid his life on the cross for you and I so that we will be saved from eternal damnation that is the definition of true love how can you recognize true love true love sacrifices true love can go the length all for the object of love and I pray in your life anything that the devil is orchestrating whether with your knowledge or without your knowledge to see that you are hurt to see that something that is precious from you is stolen from you through love or through loss that comes as love I pray that all such plans will be destroyed and thrown into the abyss I want to believe that this episode has been a blessing to your heart please do not hesitate to like to share share just make sure that as many people as many young people especially are able to listen to this so that they don't fall victims you know to those who come around them and say oh i love you i love you but indeed what they have in their heart is lost i pray that this will be a blessing to as many people as you share this with so thank you so much for listening and i look forward to speaking with you on the next episode thank you and enjoy your day bye bye